Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so Andy Biggs and Paul Gosar are two uh, Arizona Republican House members who were supporting Donald Trump in trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election and were uh, amongst two people that were challenging the certification, the county of electors. And they were also apparently involved in the fake elector scheme. Well, um, the Arizona uh, Attorney General Chris Mays has subpoenaed them to testify before a grand jury. Um, it appears that she's uh, getting a nearer decision to have the grand jury issue indictments in the case. And they wanted uh, the testimony from uh, Gosar and Andy Biggs with regards to that. Biggs was uh, the chairman of the, of the House Freedom Caucus in 2020 and 2021. And um, let's see, what do we have uh, here? Uh, Gosar was involved with relationships with activists trying to stop the steal with their protests. Both of these lawmakers attended a White House meeting with Trump on December 21st, 2020 to strategize how then Mike, Vice President Mike Pence could block the certification of the results and that was found out by the January uh, 6th Select Committee. There were text messages where uh, Biggs was contacting Mark Meadows um, after the election to push for state legislatures to overrule the results of multiple states that Joe Biden won. And that Biggs also told Meadows that Trump should not concede the election. And then he worked with other Arizona Republicans to advance the fake elector effort. Um, let's see, anything else on this one? Uh, there's a quote here. It's interesting. Getting a subpoena to testify in front of a grand jury is kind of rare uh, uh, with regards to sitting members of Congress. But she's got it. Let's see what it's going to give her. All right. Come on down. Bernie Gosar. <laughs> Do I get the Andy Biggs and Bernie Gosar? Yes. Uh, what's the energy around them in this Arizona case and their testimony coming up? Entertainment purposes only <laughs> jeez that card when i started this when i started uh filming that card was on the bottom of the deck and i've been doing overhand shuffles you can probably hear it as i do it during this whole time well guess what it's no longer on the bottom of the deck it's now on the top of the deck this is through and through voluntarily chaining themselves to donald trump and this whole fake elector scheme, the whole insurrection. These are two key players in it. No doubt in my mind, period. And I don't know if they're being offered immunity to testify in this. Um, I think they're going to more get caught up in it. We'll see. Cross with the Empress. This is, uh, this is, uh, Miss Mays here bringing, uh, these folks over here. This is just a, a boss move on her part. Okay, you know, let's hear from the minions of the uh, of Donald Trump himself. And you can tell, look at that, three major arcana out of three. Thank you very much. I'll be retiring after this reading. Um, maybe you can explain to us this whole scheme that you had put together here. Explain to the jury what it is. Oh, you want to plead the fifth? Oh, okay. Go ahead and plead the fifth. But yeah, this is kind of a boss move on her part. She's getting two people that are really close to Trump that were involved in the insurrection. And she's going to put them on the stand. You want to plead the fifth? Go ahead, plead the fifth. Or you can tell people what happened. It's up to you. But we're going to get to the bottom of this. This Arizona case is going to be very consequential, not in the upcoming election. There won't be enough time before the upcoming election happens, but thereafter and for the history of the United States, this is going to be a big case about what's revealed here. In the past, Seven of Cups, integrity. Um, Gosar and Biggs have questioned the integrity of the Arizona vote said it was rigged, said it was stolen, tried to get fake electors in there to, uh, to help with the insurrection or to help with the, uh, the coup, I should say, involved in the insurrection. And then you had all 
all the all the fallout from all the different audits of Arizona, which basically showed Biden won the state and the election was free and fair and there were no shenanigans going on with the vote counting. It's going to be it's going to be shown that these guys are crazy. They have no integrity, but they assaulted election integrity, which is the key thing in American free elections is you have to have faith in the electoral system. And they've really tried to undermine that. Current situation is the fool card. These guys are on a new path. They're on a new journey. Now, they have a choice. They can stay chained or they can unchain themselves. Stay chained, probably you're going to walk right off the cliff. Because, you know, there's no bus. Donald Trump won't throw you underneath if it saves him. If the bus hits the, the two of you and it saves him, he's okay with that. So are you going to go to prison for Donald Trump? Or are you going to try and cut yourself a deal? That's up to you. By the way, now we've got four out of five. Our major arcana. New beginnings here. New journey. Whole new everything. I, to me, it's like... You've had, you've, uh, your power has uh, waxed and now it's waning here. Hmm, just like Mafani Willis reading. Overarching energy is the Queen of Cups. Um, according to Arizona law, the this grand jury and um, stuff that is being done with the grand jury is really secretive. They have very strict laws about information that can be uh, leaked or presented and we uh, may not know what the results of their testimony are because it's in front of a grand jury but I think what this is also saying is as the article was pointing out she's getting ready to make a decision whether or not the grand jury is going to issue indictments and she's about to pull the lid off of that cup and I'm sure it's going to be the same cast of players that we've seen in other states where they you know the Ken Chesboroughs of the world and such and then all the uh, members of the Republican Party who represented themselves as electors when they were fake, including, I guess, the woman who was the uh, the head of the Republican Party in Arizona was involved in this. It's just the level of corruption, the depth of it is just astounding. For, for it being the Democrats who are trying to steal the election, sure are a lot of Republicans that are being arrested for trying to steal the election. Again, classic projection of, of accusing somebody else of the thing you're guilty of. Lesson to be learned. Page of Cups. <laughs> you really believed all the stuff coming out of this guy's mouth. You really believed it. Uh, lack of integrity involved with the devil and it comes to, you know, you believing stuff like this. The grand jury is going to hear stuff from these guys that is probably going to knock their socks off. Now, it's going to be one of two things. Either they're going to spill their guts, which I'm going to, I wouldn't hold my breath on. I think they're just going to plead the fifth. That that would be my guess. They're not going to admit to anything. And then the grand jury has to decide what's going on. But um, yeah, it's... These guys believing what they believe is just astounding. What's going to be the outcome of all this? Knight of Swords. I think she's going to go to the grand jury. I think uh, soon after this testimony, this would be like the final, the, the, the coup de grace, the final two that are being brought in here. After their testimony or lack thereof, she's going to the grand jury for indictments. Things are going to, something's going to happen quickly here. I really doubt that they're going to come up and quickly admit all their guilt and everything they did wrong ever and throw themselves on the mercy of the court or get a plea deal and spill the guts on Donald Trump. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think they're probably going to go down with the ship. True patriots. <sighs> Let that air, let that breath out, holding, <laughs> holding that anger and that frustration in. Wasn't it Gosar's family? 
Was it Ghoststar's family? Were they the ones that were uh, saying, don't vote for our brother, he's crazy? <laughs> Arizona didn't listen to him? It's just like RFK. I haven't done an RFK reading. That dude is freaking nuts. He is absolutely bananas. When I've done the RFK readings, I always get these QAnon folks coming in here telling me that I'm an idiot, don't know what I'm talking about. Good Lord, that guy is, that guy is just, he's crazy. He's flat out certifiable. They just haven't put him in front of a doctor yet to figure that out. He is not a truth to, uh, speaker. He's an idiot. Now, it's funny when they pull up the tape and said, you were telling people not to get vaccines that they weren't safe. I never said that. Play the tape. You know, do you think they'd ask you that question if they didn't have something to back it up? It's, it's not really a gotcha moment if you tell the truth or if you remember doing it. It's funny when they do that, though, and then he just stumbles all over himself. You know, he could say, oh, you're right. I guess I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that didn't age real well, did it? <laughs> yeah, there's there's just that's the thing with the Republican Party. There's no sense of humor. They don't laugh at themselves. They don't look at the ridiculousness of what they do and just say, "Wow, whoo, whoo, we we really we really shit the bed on that one, didn't we?" Oh man, they don't do that. They they. It's like nobility being up here and peasants being down here. They think they're nobility. There's nothing funny or humorous about what they do. They have evolved beyond humor. And the only thing that keeps us sane sometimes when you watch these people just act arrogant as F is using snark, sarcasm, and humor to cut down, cut them down to size till we're at the same level. <laughs> At least I like to kid myself <laughs> into thinking that. <laughs> okay. Grand jury subpoena time. Mr. Biggs. <laughs> oh, God, these two. Mr. Biggs and Mr. Uh, Gomer here. Gomer, what's that? Oh, I'm getting the names all messed up now. Um, Gosar, excuse me. Mr. Biggs, Mr. Gosar. Let me shuffle some more to make sure. We, we, get, we, get, the, we get the Louis Gomers out of here. Uh, Biggs and Gosar, uh, grand juries are going to return indictments. If you haven't already cut a plea deal, <laughs> are you going to be amongst the indicted? What's going to happen with these indictments? Ah, a bunch of people are going to get indicted. Ten? Who knows? But there is, uh, yeah, burden, huge burden. But it's also... It's self-inflicted wounds. Uh, they did this to themselves. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to carry this burden, but they chose to do it. So here we go. Crossed with the higher fence. Yep. Burden of proof has been put on the government. The government's going to meet that burden of proof. People are not going to be happy. Underneath it all is the Six of Cups. Naivety. Wishing for the good old days. This isn't charity. There could be some charity here. Um, this could be, you know, uh, we'll give you an opportunity to turn state's evidence. It could be, you know, it, it, you know what it might be? <laughs> Thoughts faster than the mouth can move, Lisa. <laughs> there could be post-indictment, uh, uh, plea deals being done. It's probably would have been better to do the, a uh, plea deal prior to the indictment but um yeah because you get a better deal that way because you don't know if you're going to be indicted but once you're indicted you don't get quite as a good deal but you know what i just said they're arrogant as i'll get out so one of them might get a plea deal <laughs> put them both in the room <laughs> <laughs> Put to, no, handcuff the two of them together, left arm to left arm, knives in the right arm, and there's a plea deal in the center. Fight to the death for it. <laughs> knife fight. Whatever one of you wants to, uh, to, to knife fight the other one, they'll play them off against each other. They'll give a plea deal to one of them, but not to both. I wonder who the first one's going to take it is. Judgment. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is not a good place to be in asking about the indictments. Yeah, 
burden. There might be 10 people or more indicted. They, they've got their case. They're going to get their judgment. People are, are welcome back to the 50s. You choose the century because welcome to 2024. And you're going to be held accountable on this one. A bunch of people are going to be indicted. And now come the offers. Now come the offers of plea deals. Okay, you've been indicted. You know, and they're not going to be good offers. <laughs> These are just going to be offers. And you should have done that before. But, you know, some people got to learn the way they got to learn. <laughs> Overarching energy is the page of swords. Uh, again, uh, Gosar and Biggs were deep in Trump's camp. So to accept a plea deal is fun, all good and fine, but you'll ever be known as the snitch. Is it going to be worth it to spend less time in prison to be a snitch? Maybe. Maybe not. But that's up to you to decide. This would have been a much stronger card if you had done this, pri again, prior to the indictments. Somebody's going to take, one of those two guys is going to get a plea deal and is going to accept it. I doubt, I mean, they both could try, but one person's, in, in the knife fight here, one person's going to get the better deal than the other one. Maybe they both agree that they, neither one of them are going to talk. Maybe they both agree that they're both going to talk. But I do think one one of them is going to take the deal. Now, they could agree that, okay, we're not going to talk. And then the other one's like, ha-ha, better deal for me if I, if I throw this guy under the bus. Oh, there's going to be shenanigans. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Out comes the Seven of Swords. Um, it could be that they're offered deals and neither one of them takes it. And they're just going to take their chances thinking that, you know, Trump will get elected and then we'll get pardoned and we'll get away with it. To me, it's like, or, you know, I don't want to be a snitch. I'd rather be a thief than a snitch. Okay. You know, you're allowed to do that. That, that That's your choice. Kind of what I see is the offer comes out. Um, there's agreements with it. Um, this could be an agreement between the two. And, and one one takes the offer and one doesn't and gets away with a better deal. Or they could, and this is the lowest energy possible, take that deal, but then they aren't truthful on uh, with their testimony. They try, they lie, basically, and um, don't uphold their end of the uh, of the plea deal. Now, mind you, when folks take plea deals, you're under more scrutiny with the facts that you provide than less. You wouldn't know that from the way the Republicans have, have uh, held the impeachment inquiries into Joe Biden with Mr. Smirnoff there, because apparently that dude lies with everything to the point where the FBI charged him for lying to him because they're going to have to verify everything these guys say. The, the DA is not going to let them know all the information they have. They're going to ask them questions. And they're going to ask them the same questions in different ways over days, weeks, months to see if the answer changes. And they've got a whole bunch of data, background data, that they don't share with these witnesses. Because you have to make sure the witness is telling you the truth rather than what you want to hear or what you think you want to hear. If one of these guys tries to tries to do that, tries to do a double cross, mm, plea deals off the table, and the sentencing would be worse. Um, that seven of swords, spirit. Can you expand on that anymore? Is there a double cross going on here, either between the two men or with either or both men against the DA? Let's take a. A quick little look on that one. There it is. <laughs> we, <laughs> you can't play on these football. I suppose you could. If I actually had any talent, I could keep, keep the same card on the top. I was about to do a four card. Let's do the whole darn thing now. Thank you. Appreciate it. The play school ruling here. What is this about? What's the cross? Emotions. Strong emotions and passion. Sometimes you can't trust people who are, um, ooh, <laughs> a couple of things come to mind. First, when people are fanatics, they're fanatics. 
They will do anything to protect uh, the people they're fanatical about or the cause they're fanatical about. The other thing here is, um, again, I was thinking it was, I thought it was Andy Biggs. I have to look it up. Hold on for a second. If Andy Biggs is the one that the family is saying, don't vote for him, he's crazy. Uh, that could be what this is linking into. But this is the attorney general over here with the uh, uh, with the nine of coins. Hang on, let me check uh, Mr. Biggs here real quick. That would actually be Paul Gosar's siblings that did that. Yeah. I had one of the right two. I just couldn't remember the name. It's hard to keep track of all these people. All right. So this would this could be Gosar's. You know, this could be something about Gosar. He's just, he's crazy. And he might be the one that tries to cut a deal with her um, is trying to get, or this could just say that it's the guy who's the bigger thief. Maybe the guy who's lost his marbles, who knows? Although I think seven of coin, seven of cups would be more like that. Let's see what we've got going on. Ace of wands. Um, this person right here is either emotionally unstable or they're a fanatic. They're the ones who came up with the idea. They're the, they were a driving force of the two of these. Whoever the driving force is, is this card right here between the two. Ah, might be a star witness. May not be a double cross after all. Um, they could end up being the star witness in this case. Look at these aces. Opportunities to do something. Star witness here. They can, they can answer the questions. If they're sincere pair of sevens here, they can answer the questions and beat back the uh, the challenges uh, to it. They, they're going to do it for a reduced prison sentence. They would do it because they know they're going to go to prison and they're going to go to prison for a while and they really want a reduced sentence. Um, could even be like home confinement versus going to prison or a much shorter, like a, a four-month sentence instead of a four-year sentence, that type of thing. Uh, what's the outcome here? Oh, so then there's your third seven. Look at that. Look at all these sevens here. Seven, seven, seven. Um, outcome is the seven of coins. They provide a lot of information, a lot of valuable information on here. I think whoever this seven of swords is, um, they are going... To, they are going to provide a bunch of information with regards to this case. Uh, I know I was talking about uh, a lie, a double cross. Uh, and looking at this spread, um, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I mean, there's a small chance that when they're vetting him, they find out that he hasn't been honest and they put him on ice because is this, is this testimony really valuable? Can we back this up? But I'm thinking with this car being the star witness, and being able to beat off questions or be, you know, beat down questions and um, the motivation on that one. It could even be regret for what they did type of thing. I do think she's going to get one of them uh, to uh, to turn over and provide state's evidence and ends up being a really strong witness. Now, whether to, if that leads to convictions or not, who knows? But... Remember, part of this, even though it's in the judicial system and we want to measure the results by guilty verdicts and long prison sentences and stuff like that, because screw you guys. Ultimately, what the most important thing to come out of this is information and understanding what was the plot, who was involved, when were they involved. Think of it more from a, a history book perspective rather than living in the moment perspective of it. If they were all acquitted, or not acquitted, but if they're all pardoned, let's say, you still have the story. The story is the important part. People need to understand what happened here, who was involved, and what their motivations were for doing it. Even if they were all pardoned and none of them served a day in prison, what it, what's the value from this? We can put laws into place to prevent this from happening again. That's the most important thing. It's not the summary execution of these traitors by firing squad. That's that's not that's revenge. That's retribution. That's the carnal rawr <laughs> serves you right. But ultimately, the big picture is we need to change the laws. We need to do things to protect our 
uh, our voting system and our democracy so that folks like this don't get another opportunity to attack it again. That's where I want to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that this video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks discovering this channel recently or for the first time, welcome. Glad you found us. Uh, this is what they're literally like. I like it. That's a lighter reading, a little bit of fun, a little bit of humor on really dark subjects. Let's read on the fall of democracy in the United States. Woohoo! <laughs> But we all chose to come down here, apparently. Don't know why we did that. Probably seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I think some of us might have some buyer's remorse on this ride. Uh, but we'll get through it, okay? Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.